The final day of complete off-road experience began with a quick camp breakfast before the crew packed up and headed to the second location. This private land, located in Jackson County, Iowa, featured a mix of steep hills, tight turns, and a lot of rocks. Thanks again to our sponsors, Complete Off-Road, Total Off-Road Podcast, and Crawler Off-Road. Starting day two of core off road. We're on a new private land, about 30 minutes from complete off road uh, shop. So we're gonna see what this new property brings. Supposedly it's harder, more technical than the last one we were just at. So more rocks. More rocks. More rocks. <laughs> more what everybody in this group is more used to. We don't like the steep hills that this guy's got on his property. <laughs> just cut fresh for these. All these people here, nobody liked it but him. All right, heading out. Property number two has proven to be a little bit more challenging. There's definitely some more rocks here. Um, right now we're just kind of in a, essentially a cattle field of washouts and um, actually got some rocks out here. So the guys are climbing a nice little steep hill right now. So see if we can get some footage of that.
So that was the property owner showing everybody the line and there's nobody paying attention. So they just informed me there's a little cave over here. So let's go check out and see what that's what it looks like while these guys <laughs> scope out this hill over here before we go and wait on them to catch up. So I can't really stand up in here. Oh yeah, I bet I can. Get in here a little further. Looks like cattle or whatever will hang out in here to uh, cool off because it's it's pretty cool in here. Okay, looks like we're at the, probably the last obstacle of the day because we gotta get back for dinner. And this looks like it's gonna be a pretty decent one. We've got all the, uh, we got majority of the vehicles here is lined up, getting ready to do this. I think I'm gonna walk up here, show you what's going on. And then I just seen a deer run up across back there. That's the first one I've seen since we've been up here. Um, I'm gonna get up here, walk around, show you what it is, come back down and start recording the guys coming up. He's tipped it.
So what do you think there? If the stick wasn't poking my leg, I'd keep going. Hold on. Hold on. Can we get your wrist to back? Let him come forward as I move. You're gonna come forward as he moves. Forward. Day two, and actually the end of the wheeling for the core event has ended. So everybody's loading up their trailers, head back to camp, get some barbecue provided by Crawler and T.O.P. So I think now we're just waiting on Kyle, and then we can go go eat. I'm recording Maine under his Jeep looking for ducks. Maine is so, he thinks there are ducks on his Jeep so hard that he's <laughs> like, crawling around for he, he is. People have led me to this. <laughs> to the last rigs are out. Core 2022 has officially come to the end. Thanks, everybody. Is this uh, core experience something that you're going to want to annually do? I think so. Is it? Yeah. So is there? It's, it, you know what? It's been good all the way around. I mean, it's been good for building friendships. Mm -hmm. It's been good for sales. Um, it's just been good for getting our butts in gear to actually, you know, get our junk together and working. <laughs> um, you know, typical thing. If you don't have a deadline for something, it never gets done. Kind right. of deal. Um, 
but everybody that's here this weekend has just been an absolute blast. Um, and I'm, I'm very much enjoying it. Good. So I'm, I'm game to do it again. Whether we do it at our place and another property around here again, or if we go somewhere else, that's going to have to be something that's going to be determined. Um, I would be fine doing it here again if people wanted to, but if they want to do something else, I'd be game with that too.